2020 is finally ending. On the one hand, it was a contradictory year, on another, very, very productive. In this video, I will tell you about 10 cool things Initco did in 2020. I did the same in 2019 and I hope that that will become a good tradition. I will speak about products released in 2020, I will speak about new products and new designs. My name is Anastasia, I will start with the 10th position and I will gradually increase the degree of significance. Let's go! Number 10. I wanted to start with something simple but handy. And as far as I haven't spoken about this product on our YouTube channel yet, it's the best time to do it right now. It was very warmly welcomed by the users that are gun cleaning mats. We work with weapons quite a lot and sometimes weapons require cleaning. We faced one problem with existing on the market gun cleaning mats. They absorbed chemicals, paint peeled off from them, then glued to the table, very uncomfortable. What to do? Want to do something good? Do it yourself. We did. We did actually three gun cleaning mats in three sizes. They are made of vulcanized rubber, three millimeter thickness, nothing extra, just brutal vulcanized rubber. Uh, the medium size K2 is 90 to 50 centimeters. Big one K3 1 meter to 60 centimeters and smallest one K1 45 centimeters to 50 centimeters. The packaging looks just like a candy. I will open it right now. I'll break the seal. Looks like this. The logo is painted by a laser. Well, not painted by printer, by a laser. It will not peel off. Very handy thing for any gun user. Number nine is not just a single product, but a concept that was implemented in a line of products. In the end of 2019, we released. Clash One flashlight. One of its key features was the fact that it is a universal flashlight. It may be installed both on pistols and on rifles, because it has two rear parts in the kit. One for pistols, one for rifles. Here on Glock I have a pistol rear part, it has buttons on sides and buttons on the back. Also, rifle rear part exists. It has two buttons on the back and an adapter for a tactical switch. This concept was very good, so we decided to implement it in other products as well. For example, in 2020 we released second generation of uh, pierced 4M, pierced 4P combined devices. That is a dual laser, two in one, visible and infrared. We redesigned the body of the device. It became lighter, it became more ergonomic, now it has a green laser and we implemented this principle of interchangeable rear parts for pistols and for rifles. Now on a rifle I have a device with a pistol rear part, such a setup is also possible. It is usually used when the shooter does not want to use a tactical switch. Then he chooses the option of a pistol rear part on his rifle. Another product with the same principle is a new product. We promised to make it and we made it. It is Clash One plus laser flashlight. Two in one flashlight and a laser. A laser is hidden inside the reflector. This product will be released in the beginning of 2021. It deserves a separate review. I will tell you more details about it. It has interchangeable rear parts 
a pistol one and a rifle one. So new review will come out soon. Another new product, second generation of Klesch 2 flashlight. Klesch 2 is two in one flashlight, invisible range and an infrared flashlight. It became lighter and we implemented the principle of interchangeable rear parts. I will also make a review about it. Here is a pistol variant and on this rifle I have Klesch 2 with a rifle rear part. Actually this rifle is very interesting. I will tell more about products on it a bit later. 8th place shock stabilizers SE Saiga 9 and DTK Saiga 9. They are designed for installation on Saiga 9, on TR9 Paradox and on Vitis SN. Vitis SN is only for SV Saiga 9, not for DTK Saiga 9. They are designed to reduce sound pressure on ears and with these devices you may shoot without earmuffs. We got a protocol of the Ballistic Commission and in Russian Federation those devices are not viewed as suppressors. Unfortunately, they are not for export at the moment, but we have plans to make a modification that will be certified in the US. For SV Saiga 9 in 2020 we also made an adapter to install it on Vitez SN. Number 7. Upgrades for rifles based on AR-15. Despite the fact that Zenitko is mostly associated with upgrades for AK platform, we love AR platform tenderly as well. In 2019 we made Joker handguard for AR-15. In 2020 we continued broadening Joker line, made some other Jokers in different lengths. Currently we make Jokers in five different sizes and we also made different accessories compatible with AR-15 platform. In the beginning we made RGB-1 gas block, it is a titanium adjustable click type gas block. And in 2020 we made one more, it is RGB2 gas block, also titanium, also click type, also adjustable, but the difference is that RGB2 gas block has screws on the top and they are screwed in from the top and RGB1 gas block has screws on the bottom. RGB2 just is more comfortable together with Joker and we also made special device for positioning this RGB2 gas block in Joker handguard, just for comfort when you install it. Also, we made a number of gas tubes, actually four gas tubes with different length. They are straight gas tubes and our gas blocks RGB1 and RGB2 also work with straight gas tubes. We made key rod number one for maintenance of rifles based on AR-15. You just fix it in the vise, put your AR-15 on this key and do whatever you want with it. Just a very convenient tool. We made DTK-1 AR-15 muzzle brake. It is based on our DTK-1 muzzle brake. And also a pistol grip for AR-15, RK-9 AR-15 pistol grip. Very comfortable grip. On the sixth position, broadening of the line of accessories for basis rail. In 2019, we made sport and joker handguards with basis rail. This rail is also on handguards with letter U, like B30U or B10U. Basis looks like this, you may install additional accessories on basis rail directly on handguard without Picatinny rails. That lowers the weight of rifle. And uh, those guides 
they ensure the repeatability of position of the accessory inside the rail, so they do not rotate. It is a very safe principle. This year we made a number of accessories for basis rail, so let's look at them. We made B2M Picatinny rail. It is the smallest Picatinny rail for basis rail that we made. It is 15 mm long. Besides this one, we also have B2 rail, B2U rail and B2L rail. We made FP3 wire holder to fix a wire directly on basis rail. We made A2L sling mount. The first sling mount that we made for basis rail was A1L sling mount. It is based on our sling mount A1 for Picatinny. And this year we made a concept of such a small sling mount with a steel cable and it was very popular among users. We made RL1 hand stopper. It can be placed anywhere on basis rail for your comfort. We made a lot of hand stoppers and grips actually for basis rail. We redesigned the RK line of grips and made modifications for basis rail. They are RK2L grip, RK1L grip, RK 0L grip, RK4L grip and RK6L hand stopper. Finally, we made NPN2 basis rail covers to hold your rifle with basis rail with more comfort. And one more thing for basis tactical switches that can be mounted directly on basis rail. That's a new thing. They will be released in 2021 and uh, I will speak more about them when I will speak about upgrades in electronics. But you may see it here. KVD2 tactical switch mounted directly on basis rail. There will be a line of such switches, the D line of switches. Number five, the point I'm especially proud about is that in the middle of this year, 2020, the CEO of Zenitko, Nikolai Garbunov, he is also the chief designer of Zenitko, the person who invented all of this and who designed it, and he's also my father, he was awarded the Mikhail Kalashnikov Medal of the Ministry of Defense of Russian Federation. That is the highest award that an engineer who works in the field of weapons can receive and it is usually given to people who make some big innovations in the field of weapons. So I'm very proud about it and it is nice when the hard work is appreciated. Number four, I started highlighting this point when I was speaking about AR-15. That are new pistol grips for AK platform RK9, for AR platform RK9 slash AR15. Previously we had and still have one pistol grip made by us, that is RK3 pistol grip. And now you have a choice. RK3 is more wide, RK9 is more narrow and round. Different people have different hands, so a pistol grip is a very individual thing and what is comfortable for one person is not comfortable for another. And good when you have a choice. Both RK9 and RK3 are milled products made of aluminium D16T. They are rubberized for comfort and on the bottom they have a container that can be used like some secret stash. Bronze medal, third place. Upgrade of Saiga 308. Rifle. Saiga 308 is a wonderful weapon with good caliber 308, good for hunting, but it has a number of special things we needed to work with. Special thing number one. The receiver is based on RPK, the handguard retainer is based on AK. What does it mean? It means that handguards for AK do not fit, handguards for RPK and Weapet do not fit as well. 
What shall we do? A new hand guard. We made it. It is B23L hand guard. It has basis rails on all sides and it is compatible with B19 RPK upper hand guard that was also released in 2020. And uh, you may ask whether we plan a longer sport kit for Saiga 308 and I will answer that yes, we have such plans. So that was the first special thing. The second special thing is that when we speak about regular setup of Saiga 308, there is no place on it to mount safely a big, heavy, good thermal imaging device. And when we go hunting, we want such a device with us to see the target clearly and hit it from the first shot. That's why we made a mounting position for such a device, actually for any big optics for this rifle. That is dust cover B33 RPK and it is a new product. It will be available in the beginning of 2021. It is compatible with rifles based on RPK. I will speak more about it when I will talk about Vepar rifles. Actually, I will speak about Vepar right now, because number two in today's list is Vepar and RPK rifles upgrade. I'm holding Vepar 12 in my hands right now, and since we haven't finished speaking about B33 RPK dust cover, I will clarify one important moment. It is compatible with RPK and rifles based on RPK, except those models of Vepar that have a regular dust cover like this, on a hinge, rotary one, not removable one. It usually has a Picatinny rail on top. If you have such a dust cover, regular one, you cannot place B33 RPK dust cover here. If you have a removable regular dust cover, then you may place B33 RPK dust cover instead of it. It will look like on this wonderful RPK. On this wonderful RPK I also have a stock. It is a new stock, new product. It will be available in the beginning of 2021. In this case it is PT3 RPK stock, also PT1 RPK stock exists. They are folding, they are telescopic, they are based on our stocks PT3 and PT1. Those two stocks are for military in Russia, for those rifles that do not have a mechanism that blocks shot when the stock is folded. So if you do not have a mechanism that blocks the shot when the stock is folded, then you need to use these stocks PT3 RPK and PT1 RPK. If your weapon has a mechanism that blocks shot when the stock is folded, you need to use one of the following. Like on this Vepar, PT1S Vepar, also PT1 Vepar, PT3 Vepar and PT3S Vepar. In Russia they are for civilians, they are for rifles that has this mechanism that blocks the shot when the stock is folded. And here I have a question for you guys, so I cannot uh, examine all the rifles outside of Russia, so please tell me whether Vepar that are common in your country have this mechanism or do not have this mechanism. And please write the model of it and from what country are you writing. It will be very interesting for me to know. Also on this Vepar 12 I have a number of new products. RP3 charging handle also Sport 6 kit. We made a number of handguards, of new handguards for Vepar, so this Sport 6 kit for Vepar 12. Also shorter handguards B20L and the second generation of B20U handguard. B20L handguard has basis rails on three sides, B20U handguard has basis rails on sides and Picatinny rail on the bottom. Those two handguards are compatible with B19 RPK 
upper hand guard. I've told you earlier that there will be a point about global upgrade of electronics. Here is it on number one. I announced that in 2021 we will release a number of new generations of our products. They are Pierced 4 Generation 3.0, Pierced 4P, Pierced 4M Generations 3.0, Pierced 2 Generation 2.0, Pierced 3 Generation 2.0, Clash 1 Generation 2.0, Clash 2PS plus laser, Clash 2P, Clash 2D, Clash 2U, Generations 2.0. What is the difference? Uh, for the user, the main difference will be in tactical switches, so the device itself won't change a lot, except Clash 2 that I showed you earlier that was totally redesigned. Other devices won't be totally redesigned, but the switches will be changed. We introduce a new line of switches, the D line of switches. Their key features are, the first one is that they are compatible with basis rail, like this switch KVD2, it is installed directly on basis rail. So it lowers the size of weapon, it lowers the weight of weapon. But each switch also has an adapter in the kit, uh, for installation of the switch on Picatinny rail, like this one on the Picatinny rail KVD 4 slash 2P tactical switch. The second and most interesting feature of this line is that they are universal, so each product of uh, new generation will work with each switch of the D line. I will explain now. For example, previously we had and still have tactical switches KV4-2 and KV4-2U. They were designed to combine Clash 2 and Pierced 4, but they did not work with other devices, so only those two devices. Now this switch KVD4-2P now it connects new generation of Pierced 4 and new generation of Clash 2. But it also can connect, for example, new generation of Pierced 3 and Clash 1 or other devices, the ones you wish to connect. So these switches, all of them, the whole line of these switches are universal. I demonstrated only two now. There will be much more switches in this line. I will make separate review of them and tell you about all the differences. I would like to note here that the D line of switches will be compatible only with new generations of devices. That's why we had to change all the electronics in all the devices, so they would work with this D line. So they work with new generations, but they do not work with older generations. How do you understand that the device is of a new generation? It has an engraving like this, Clash 2. It's written here that it is version 2.0. All the new generations have these engravings. I will post information about all the changes on the website, so information about generations will be on the website. I will make reviews about all these products. They will come out very soon, so as you see, 2020 was quite a busy year, a lot of things were done and the video is too short to tell about everything that was done, because much more was done in this year, but uh, everything is connected to each other and I hope that we uh, made you happier with those new products and we will we'll continue making new ones. So, new year is coming, we will soon go to new year holidays and I wish that in new year that you will be happy and so that no disease will come to you or to your beloved one within the distance of the shot. So, have a happy new year and Merry Christmas and I will see you after new year holidays. Hooray!